Welcome into NFL on 365 Sports. I'm your host, Grayson Grunhafer, and we're going to continue to talk about some of these NFL mock drafts as the draft approaches on April 28th. Today, I'm talking about the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm really excited about this one. They have some nice draft draft capital, so we're going to go through um, their first, second, third, um, maybe even fourth round picks, um, just to talk about some of the guys that they might add, some of the likelier scenarios uh, for this Eagles team that is really trying to figure out kind of, I think, what they want to do going forward. You know, with Jalen Hurts at quarterback, are they a contender? Are they a team that is going to be more in rebuild mode? Um, we'll see. But I think with th with this draft, they have an opportunity to address some major needs going forward. So starting in the first round, uh, they have pick number 15 and 18. So starting with pick 15, um, I love the pass rusher out of Purdue, and that's George Karloftis. I think he is a perfect fit for what the Eagles need. Uh, they need a guy who can get in the backfield, wreak havoc. Um, he just turned 21 years old, so he's a very young and raw prospect, uh, but he had over 14 sacks in 24 games at Purdue, despite the opposing team knowing that they were basically going to double George Karloftis the whole game. He was still very, very productive uh, for Purdue. So I really like him. I think he's kind of an underrated guy uh, for a lot of people you know he was a top 10 pick coming into the process and then all he did was dominate you know his pro day dominate the testing it's just other guys have risen above him so I think this is great value at pick 15 uh, for the Philadelphia Eagles Moving on to pick 18, and this is a position they're going to have to address, which is wide receiver. Uh, they got Devontae Smith last year, but if you look at their wide receiving group, it goes Devontae Smith, Dallas Goddard at tight end, and then nobody else. I mean, you're talking about Quez Watkins, um, you know, guys who just really have not made a huge impact. Jalen Rager, who has been a complete bust for them. They have got to find a way to get better there. Uh, because I don't think they can really know what they have with Jalen Hurts until they really give him the necessary weapons uh, for him to be successful. And so I think they're going to take a wide receiver. And I know a lot of people have talked about, you know, multiple guys who could fit what they're trying to do. But I think Traylon Burks is actually the perfect fit for them, uh, the wide receiver out of Arkansas. And the reason I think that is because he's a guy who does not require a great pass downfield. He does not require a lot of out of the quarterback position to be good. He can take short passes and go 50 yards for a touchdown. He is a yak monster while also being massive and having the ability to take the top off the defense with solid speed and the ability to make contested catches. But for me, that low A dot, the ability to take those short passes passes and really turn it into something is something that this Eagles team really, really needs. So I think Traylon Burks is a perfect fit for the Eagles. Be a great compliment to Devontae Smith and what Smith can do deep downfield and in the intermediate routes. I think Woolen will take a lot. Or I think uh, Burks will take a lot of pressure off of him. Moving on to 51, uh, which is in round two. I got a little ahead of myself there, uh, speaking of Woolen, because I think the Eagles are going to take Tariq Woolen at pick 51. Uh, the cornerback out of UTSA started his career as a wide receiver at UTSA, just an absolute freak athlete. Ran a 4.26 at the combine at 6.4, uh, a 42 inch vertical. Uh, just a great track star and a guy who is a complete boomer bust product. But the thing of it is, is I think the Eagles can take a risk here. He's a great athlete, a guy who could turn into an all pro guy uh, if the, you know, if everything aligns for him. A great athlete, you're not going to have concerns about that. So now it's can he put it all together? He never really did that at UTSA. He had a good year this year and two good years, really. But I think his best football is ahead of him. And for that reason, I think the Eagles take a chance on him at pick number 51. 
Moving on to pick number 83, uh, I think this is where they address linebacker. Uh, the Eagles need to address this position. They really need a guy who can come in and play right away uh, to add depth and to possibly be a starter for them. So I think Leo Chanel out of Wisconsin is really a guy who I think fits well. I had 22 tackles for loss, so the ability to get in the backfield and wreck havoc, create negative plays, is something the Eagles really could use. Uh, and also, he's just solid. He would come in and provide a lot of um, just solid play at the position, whether it's as a starter, as a depth piece, a guy that you could rely on early in his career. Uh, and so for that reason, I think he's a very safe pick to go along with kind of one of those more risky picks with Tariq Woolen. Moving on to pick 101, uh, this is where I think they'll address the offensive line. Uh, this team likes to run the football. They really do. We saw that at the end of the year. So they need to continue to bolster that and get stronger up front. So I like them taking a guard here. Marquise Hayes uh, out of Oklahoma. He'll help with the interior, help with the run game. I think he could be a starter uh, in his first season in the NFL. I think he could be that good. And if so, he would really help them run the ball, take pressure off Jalen Hurts, allow more opportunities for deep shots down the field to Devontae Smith and potentially Traylon Burks. Uh, I think it's a great situation for him and a great pick for the Eagles at 101. So kind of talking about just kind of the other nuances of the draft, um, I have some guys who I think would also be great fits for the Eagles if they fall to them or if they just make a different pick than what I'm projecting currently. So Kyle Hamilton at pick 18 uh, out of Notre Dame. I like him. I just think he's kind of risky. I think there's some risks involved with taking him. And so I like the safer plays, even though I think a lot of people would say Traylon Burks is a risky pick as well. Uh, also at pick 15, Jamison Williams. I think, you know, the wide receiver out of Alabama, he's very good. Like, I really like him when you turn on the film. Uh, he's just a game breaker. The problem is, is I kind of want them to take a, a bigger wide receiver, a guy who can do more just with the ball in his hands at the line scrimmage. Um, because the thing with Jamison Williams is I do think he's going to need a quarterback to really reach his full potential. Um, and I'm not sure Jalen Hurts is that guy. I, I think the Eagles need guys who can create plays for Jalen Hurts and not guys who Jalen Jalen Hurts has to make plays for for them to reach their potential. So that's kind of why I'm a little bit leaning away from Jamison Williams. I also think he's too similar to Devontae Smith. So why would you want two guys that are very comparable? Um, so that's kind of why I moved away from him. And then Trent McDuffie, uh, the Washington quarterback at pick 18. He could be another interesting option at cornerback. Uh, but again, I like the Tariq Woolen pick at 51. Now, as far as a trade-up scenario, I think it's doubtful for the Eagles. Um, they already traded with the Saints. I think they like their two picks where they have them. If they were to trade up, I think the guy that they should trade up for would be a Derek Stingley type. You know, if they trade 15 and maybe pick 51 to go get Derek Stingley, that might be something pretty interesting because uh, I do think Stingley is an all-pro type guy and he fits a position of need uh, that the Eagles need to address. Um, so, yeah. That's kind of the guys that I'm looking at for the Eagles. Those are kind of the guys that I think fit what they're trying to build there. And this is a very interesting draft for Philadelphia to really know kind of what team they want to be going forward. How much trust do they have in Jalen Hurts? Do they take a quarterback layer in the draft? It's a lot of questions, but I think they have great draft capital to answer some of those questions in the NFL draft. But for Grayson Grunet, this has been NFL on 365 Sports.